Hey, what's up this is Garvit Bitnager, and welcome back to my channel, and today in this video we are going to create a smooth and easy bear jumping animation in Flippa Club. First I am creating the background, and his bear is jumping off a cliff, so first I am creating that cliff. Now I am creating the background, here I am drawing a tree, and some mountains at the back, I mostly keep my backgrounds light and simple, I don't like to create much details in background, especially whenever I am making a tutorial, my more focus is on animation, and less on drawing and coloring. Now background is created, and now I am animating bear jumping. Many of you ask me how to use layering right, so my only suggestion is that, whenever you are animating, you can add new layer, when you want to make your two objects separate, like when you have two characters you can make both of them on different layers, and always keep your background at your bottom layer, and don't make anything on that background layer. After creating background and initial pose or first key pose, I copy that frame and erase the character from second frame. Then I copy and paste that frame almost 10 to 20 times. Then I start drawing key poses. I always like animate by this method. This gives me a clear idea of what I am animating and where I have made some mistakes. And I can easily correct them because I will have to draw at only one frame. And if I am animating pose to pose, then I have to draw at many frames. And it's very difficult to do. Well in this method, I will only have to draw once. I always make key poses first, then breakdowns and in-betweens, and I always keep all of the animation principles in mind, while working on any animation project, as here I am using stretch and squash, in first frame I made bear standing over the cliff, then I made him squash, because he is anticipating the jump, so before jumping he will be squashed, and in next frame he will be stretched further, and always make the stretch in right direction, as here he is jumping from a cliff, so he is standing on that cliff at the left of this frame, and he will jump and land in the middle of the frame, so he is moving forward and left, so he will be stretched stretched it left, and the same could be used in squash, as you might be seen in many cartoons, that, when character is going to run, he binds up in the opposite direction, and then he stretches to that direction where he is running. And now I am using the another principle of animation which is called arcs, as he is jumping off, so he will follow an arc, as I have already told in my previous video, that many beginner artists don't use arcs in their animations, arcs make your animation dynamic, arcs and squash and stretch, are my most used animation principles, these two are used in most of the parts of animation, squash and stretch, makes your animation realistic, and arcs make your animation natural. Whenever you are animating you have to think of realism, and you will also have to think about timing, like where will he stay for much time, where he will be only for one frame, and you can also use ease in and ease out in your animations, it means that, your character or any object, will be closer in the starting of the animation, then he will move far gradually, and then at the end of your animation he will again come closer, but here this will be in opposite manner, as here this bear is jumping so he will quickly go up, and he will stay a bit more in the air, and then he will again come down speedily. And now, as he is landing on ground, so again he will be stretched, and then squashed, he will be stretched just one frame before he is landing, and then I am not making a frame where he will be at rest, I am directly making him squashed, then he will stand for a while. Now all the key poses have been created, so now I will add in-betweens, so first I am copying and pasting first frame, a 
about 7 or 8 times to make him address for a while, then I am adding in betweens. If you enjoyed, then please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this.